We're here at the Hearst San Simeon State Park Campground, and we are on the Creek Campground, which is the lower campground. And nice thing about it is you have walking access to the beach. Anyway, the camp host does sell uh, firewood. You can get uh, water there at the camp host area. And they also have a dump station. Uh, there is a solar meter there, so dumping, whether you're camping in the park or visiting, is $10 every time you dump. <clears throat> and they do have um, showers and bathrooms here. So otherwise, it's a nice little campground. It's co very close to the town of Cambria. It's close to the Elephant Seal Rookery. It's close to the Hearst Castle. It's also close to the Lighthouse, where you can have tours, also, uh, where they have tours. Um, it's also close to Moonstone Drive, uh, where you can have access to all the wonder walk, wonderful walking trails along the beach. And you can go down to Moonstone Beach and look around, see if you get lucky and find some moonstones. They also have addicts and uh, jasper, beautiful rocks out there, Moonstone Beach. All the beaches from Hearst, uh, Hearst Castle down here to Moonstone Beach, they're, they're just filled up with the... Uh, beautiful rocks that are a jeweler's grade almost. Here are the showers at Hearst San Simeon Campground and they are operated via tokens. So you can buy your tokens here and then you'll use them inside here. The bathrooms are in good condition. Um, I clean them every day. And uh, so you have showers and bathrooms here. And you have some uh, wash uh, sinks here. Typical coastal restrooms. So you do, you do have, uh, at the Creekside Campground, you, you're, it's walking distance to the beach. So we're on our way to the beach now. It's not that far. You really have to kind of shop for your campsites. Um, the ones on the outer perimeters that are surrounded by growth are really nice because you do have uh, a nice amount of privacy. Uh, then you have the center campgrounds. Um, you have privacy on each side, but everybody kind of joins in the center part. But otherwise, the campsites are nice. They're a good size. Um, the majority of them are level. It's a nice campground. And again, this is the lower campground, the Creekside campground. And again, from the Creek campground, the lower campground, you do have access to the beach. Anyway, this is really a cute little trail that leads you off to the beach. And for most campsites, you only have a few minute walk. Okay, so dogs are not allowed on the Hearst San Simeon State Park Beach, but they are allowed in the campground and the little trails around the campground. They must be on a leash. Um, there is a beach to the north, maybe a mile or so, and it's the Hearst San Simeon Beach, and that beach there is dog friendly. Um, but the nice thing is you do have the Moonstone Beach area. The dogs are not allowed on the beaches there in the Moonstone Beach area, but they are allowed to walk on the trails, which is about a mile and a half worth of wonderful walking trails that the dogs can enjoy. They just cannot be brought down into the beach. Uh, in the springtime, there is a lot of growth on each side of the trails. Just watch out for that growth because I know dogs do pick up the ticks in the springtime. So um, after you're done walking with them, if they happen to go into the side growth, definitely check their legs and under bellies and make sure they didn't bring home any unwanted guests with them but otherwise it's absolutely gorgeous out here
and your dogs will actually have a good time, even though not all the beaches are accessible. There are a lot of walking areas for them. And again, the little town of Cambria is dog friendly. The beach here at the state park is really super big. Uh, it's a little bit windy out here today, but there is a lot of driftwood on the beach. And I figure it must be about 200 yards or so from the t time you go underneath the bridge and get to the water. Um, yeah, it's about a 200 yard walk. Beach is huge. And again, tons of driftwood. So my viewers are always asking me, tell me a little bit more about the campground. Well, Sam Simeon Creek Campground offers 134 campsites for tent camping or recreational vehicles and two hike and bike campsites. The maximum RV length is 35 feet. Fees for RV camping run $35 a night. And of course they do have discounts for veterans and disabled. And I believe for senior also. After all that walking on the beach, we head back to our campsite and I made some homemade enchiladas that we really enjoyed. And then we just hung out for the rest of the evening. Today we're heading up to Piedras Blancas Lighthouse Station. Some of the San Simeon coastline. Driving towards the Piedras Blancas Lighthouse Station and Hearst Castle. From San Simeon State Park. Gorgeous, great beaches out here. Pedras Blanca's light station provides a glimpse into our nation's past when lighthouses served a vital role in maritime navigation. Today it's managed as a historic park and wildlife sanctuary. The light station is part of the federally designated Pedras Blanca's Light Station Outstanding Natural Area and the California Coastal National Monument. The tower and some support buildings are listed on the National Registry of Historic Places. They do offer tours here at the Piedras Blancas Light Station. Unfortunately, the time that we were here, it was already considered winter time, so they only offer uh, tours on the weekends in the winter time. During the peak season, spring and summer, you can find a tour every day of the week and the tours are very reasonable. So adults will run you around $10, youth $5, and if you have an interagency senior pass, they will run you $5. So we're heading back from the lighthouse and south of the lighthouse, you're gonna find the Elephant Seal Rookery. And it's California's only elephant seal viewing area that's free to visit every day. This is a popular spot to observe elephant seals and it has a boardwalk and wonderful viewing areas. It's definitely worth the stop. Sometimes they have park rangers out here that'll uh, answer all your questions about the elephant seals. The elephant seal population grows every year. There's about 17,000 elephant seals out here right now that call this beach their home. And while sea seals can usually be seen at the beach all year long, the best times to visit are during late January, April, and October. Starting in December, pregnant female elephant seals begin arriving on the shores of San Simeon to give birth. They trickle in during December, but most arrive in January, when most of the male elephant seals have established dominance over the pupping areas on the beach. And they say the best time to see an elephant seal to give birth is in the morning between sunrise and 10 a.m. You 
can spend hours out here watching the teenage elephant seals frolic in the water and they play and they spar and it's just really, really cool. We're out here in mid-September. September for the California coastline is always absolutely gorgeous. You really hit some beautiful, sunny, crisp, clear days. And you can really appreciate the gorgeous views out here in San Simeon. And south, right down the street from the Elephant Seal Rookery, we find San Simeon Bar and Grill, and there we stop in for a late breakfast, and it had some wonderful uh, ocean views, and the breakfast was really good, and they served really nice Bloody Marys also. After breakfast, we head over to Moonstone Drive, we park our vehicle, and we hop on the wooden trails. This is my favorite part of coming out here. I love walking these wooden trails along the coastline. The beaches are beautiful, and every so often when you feel like getting down to the beach, you just hop off the trail, and, and there's beach accesses all the way through. Um, it's just gorgeous. We spent a couple of days just playing on Moonstone Beach. We park our van up on top of the bluff uh, in the day use parking area and we have our door faced towards the ocean. So we get out there and we cook breakfast and lunch and 
walk down to the beach, do beach coming, go back up to our van and relax. And yeah, we literally spent a couple of days out in Moonstone Beach, which was absolutely fantastic. We have our wind chimes hanging out and a lot of people come by and talk with us and like to look at our van and check out our arts and crafts. And uh, it's really a good time. We talk with people from all over the United States. A lot of them want to take pictures with us because our website, Road Trekking with Rowan Low, and uh, it's really a lot of fun. We enjoy getting out there and talking with a lot of people that we meet along our adventures. Okay, so on our way back to our campground, there is another uh, campground on the premises, and it's called the Washburn Primitive Campground, and it's up on the hill, and it's really a gorgeous uh, campground, and this campground is approximately one mile inland from the beach on a plateau overlooking the Santa Lucia Mountains and the ocean, and these are some of the views from up there. Well, you've been road trekking with Rowan Lowe, and I hope you enjoyed our trip to Hearst San Simeon State Park. And if you did, please do subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Happy RVing, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.